This travel recorder was made by one of the Van Heerde dynasty at the height of the Baroque, probably around 1720. It is made of boxwood, which is very typical of recorders, and it has a sort of light colouring. But the darker look is given by the staining. If you look around the finger holes, as well as where the air comes out of the labium, the staining has been lost a little bit, and this is entirely natural for an instrument that has seen a lot of use. The Van Heerde family are typical in that there were several generations that were instrument builders, makers, and they, as well as recorders, they also made flutes and oboes. But the fact that several of them made instruments makes it difficult to identify which one made this particular instrument because they didn't necessarily always use different stamps to identify the maker. Many of the instruments that are in the collections here at St. Cecilia's Hall and other museums are very unusual. Uh, maybe what, what they're made of, for example, ivory, or one of the instruments also has extensive carving on the head and the foot joint. This recorder, on the other hand, is, is quite simple, and that, that makes it more unusual that it has survived, because it wouldn't have been precious even at the time. One of the things that is very common and would have been usual at the time is that it has two single holes at the bottom and not double holes as many modern copies of Baroque instruments do. This was a tradition that survived from the Renaissance and was only changed later on to make chromatic runs easier. For me as a player it is a huge privilege to play on this historic instrument because of the way humidity affects wood and also intonation and so on. It makes it quite difficult to play, but also it's very rare that one has the opportunity. Um, so it is just a huge joy to be able to play on it. <laughs> 